is up guys this is Luke once again and welcome back to LD Vlogs. So in today's video we will be installing the EvoTech crash bar for the 2021 Suzuki SV650. for this install is obviously the EvoTech crash bar itself which is um, so which is obviously this sealed um, package um, a bummer though is that it is only wrapped or it came rather with this paper um, bag which is weird considering um, this Evil Tech part is not that expensive, but you know, they could have done better. So, yeah, there you go. Next is that, uh, next in your things to do that you need to use is your um, torque wrench. Your torque wrench, it's because you need to torque this to spec. And with that being said, um, you need your torch your torque sheet which is for this one I got this it's downloadable on the internet this is all for the 2021 Suzuki SV650 and you also need your instructions on how to install this coming direct from Evo so there you go next you need your um, socket crunch for obviously for removing the M12 bolts which we'll be um, packing later on. So yeah, this is a relatively um, simple install provided that you have all of the necessary tools. So to begin with this install, you will need your 17, um, 17 millimeter socket. I don't know which this one for other conversion units, for other units, but I will be using the 17 millimeter one and your breaker bar, obviously. And you can start removing this one. Yeah. There you go. Now we could use our ratchet to remove this. So now that it's loosened up properly, we can now do this by hand. So there you go. So now let's open our kit. So here is our kit and I need a cutter. I don't know which camera I'm looking at. So here is your EvoTech kit. It has this nice EvoTech logo and it has this, I think this one is graphene or graphite and I think or black, hard plastic or something like that. It's really nice. So and, it, and also look, it complements the black color of the uh, so it complements to the black color of the SV somewhat so yeah there you go let's move the other side first this side and as you can see um this one has a nylon lock which means you don't need to put thread locker and this would lock itself in place and it will, it will not loosen up because it has nylon which is this nylon um, lining here, the blue one. So yeah, there you go. So set that aside. Let's remove this carefully because we have um, washers in place. So now what we're gonna do is just push this to remove the screw itself. So, yeah, there you go. And remove some uh, dust. <laughs> it's pretty dirty. So it's pretty dirty. You just remove the dust itself. Uh, there you go. And there you go. Here is your um, engine mount. So yeah, it goes in here, goes all the way through. 
So yeah, there you go. So now we will be replacing it with this one. And uh, I think what should we do is just place it loose first, like this one. Then uh, let's tighten it up evenly along the way. So yeah, I'll put this on the through the other side so you can see it poked right through here. and slide it in, it goes in smoothly, like so. So now, with your other side, so here's your parts. Be sure to have it in place, like your washers, your spacers and stuff like that. Here, there's a washer here. There you go. There's a washer there. So put it in place and hold it, obviously. There. It's too loose, like it just slides through. So there you go. So now we have our my lock thread, our lock bolt, and uh, just need to put it in place. And it's a different size, so it's not 17 anymore. So it's a, it's an 18, I mean a 19, rather. So it's a 19. I don't know if you guys can see it properly. Oh yeah, there you go, it's 19. So I see what's gonna be my problem now is that I don't have two 19mm bolts. I need socket wrenches because I only have one socket wrench set. So that's my problem. Um, I think I need to borrow one from my brother. So yeah, here we go. So here we'll be now tightening the bolts since I got the um, another 19 millimeter socket wrench. So, so my brother has one. He's holding it now on this side. And I have this one, my other one. So now we'll be tightening it up. So now we'll be using the torque wrench since it was it is already tight enough. So we'll be now tightening to 6 to 7 foot pounds since it was specified by the torque spec from Suzuki. 67. Let's go. There you go. Just to double check. There you go. So now the other side. So we have successfully um, installed the Evil Tech um, sliders, crash, bobbin, there you go. So where did I get the, the torque spec for this one? It's from here. Um, it's from the, from the Suzuki website. So I'll be putting this um, documents um, down in the description below so that you have access to this ones. So yeah, there you go. So for the instructions, why did I torque it to uh, um, the spec of Suzuki? Because according to the instructions of Evotech, it says specifically here that 
I need to use the manufacturer's torque specification, which is 67 foot pounds or 93 newton meters of torque. So, there you go. So, there you have it, guys. So, I hope you like this video since there are barely videos, barely any videos on how to install this EvoTech um, frame slider kit. So yeah, I hope this helps you and if you do, please give it a like and if you don't, you know what to do. So thank you guys for watching. This is Luke and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace guys.